Hey y'all, I'm Hillbilly. Welcome back to Let's Play Shining Tears. Last time we got Vogue up to level 16, which means everybody is now 16 or higher. And we assigned points for our other characters' levels that we already had, including Vogue. So now let's just go out and run around the neighborhood and see if we can see what triggers the next plot line. Okay. Hey, where's our little bunny rabbit ears girl? Oh, there she is down there. That she's out running around probably means she's an audience. She's not even going to talk to him. Hello? Um, hello? There you are. Extra, extra stuff. I've got some new info. Want to know the scoop. So it's still hints. Stuff like that. Not now. She's not moving us along. That's you, fella. Sure, what are they saying? Here's the scoop. This is what the town folk think of Weiss Reader. They're calling you the Invincible Champion. I think that's the same thing he said last time we talked to him. Are you always walking around out here? Looks like Rungast has retreated. Is the war over? Yes, yeah, special items marked with a question. Yeah, you know, we have at least one of those, but we won't fool with that right now. Yeah, it doesn't look like talking to the people. They're just walking around. It usually happens when we walk into a particular area. We can't go to the burden. I mean, that's Wildcat Lane. We can't go to the. We can go to the Birdman Village. Let's go to the Promenade. Oh, I think we've already been here because I think we were looking for a blacksmith. Oh, but was that before or after we did the uh, moving castle? Which I'm aware I caught an airship several times. <laughs> because of the way it looks like you're on the deck, you know. When we're on the castle outside, it looks like you're on the deck of a ship and you can see the ground moving by beneath. It makes you feel like you're in a video game airship. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. That's just, yeah, it's just the way back out. Okay. Don't see anything different. That little boy's always running around. Won't give us any advice. Yeah, I'm not sure I would call that fine tuning. And this guy sitting here. I can hear a voice from the great beyond. A departed soul grieves for the future of his friends. Is there no way to save them? He is, of course, talking about Lazarus. What was this again? Armor shop. No. Was this the item shop where they actually had the... Uh... Is there an item shop here? I thought there was. Yeah, is this the one where you could actually buy the lives? We've got a... We've got one now, I think, at least. Hello there. Yes, this was the... Oh, they're expensive. Sixteen hundred. But we can also buy healing drops, healing water. We can buy all the big stuff here, basically. So, okay. And that's the same price it is the other place. So, okay, so if we really feel like we need a soul return, we can buy Thank one. Thank you very much. But nothing's moving the story along here. And we can't go to Wildcat Lane unless we're doing the fight. That's the only place we can't go. Let's let's go to the Birdman Village. See if they've got anything to say. I 
I don't see anything. He's always floating around. Always floating around. I don't see anything different. Here's the elder guy. I'm glad that we were able to contribute at least a small part to Shulia's victory. Okay, yeah, they they supposedly are who dropped us in on the, our last battle. Ah, push strong, but to my old companions. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's still. We met one of them, one or two of them. I don't remember now. I know we've met one of them. But it looks like nothing's going on here. Oh, and we haven't talked to Pios and Vold again since um, since just speaking to them after we first came back. And they, well, Vold was talking about Lazarus. Pios didn't even mention him. <laughs> That guy's always down up here. This guy's moving around. No cut scenes or anything. I think this guy's always here. You stopped that fortress too. To be honest, I didn't really think you'd get this far. Way to go, Wyshreer. Okay, yeah. Little useless. We haven't visited the dwarves in a while. Let's go see them. And if there was some hint or something as to where to go next, I either forgot or totally missed it. More likely that second one. But we've done this before though, where you, we'll, sometimes we go out and run around, and sometimes just going out and run around visiting all the places, and then going back. To the hero's hearth is all we have to do. Nobody's doing anything different here. This here smithy can change the effects, attributes, and the like of your weapons. Depending on the recipe you use, your attack can go down those, so be careful what you ask to have made. We ever even actually going in here? Good to see ya! Okay, he's like all the others so far. Um. What about this? Let's look at the kind of materials you want. We'd like some unmelting ice, some mithril. What else should we put in there? Holy water? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we don't have any more beach things. We used our last one, we haven't picked any yet. Maybe we should put holy water? Let's give it a shot. Right you are then. Okay, that did not change the effect. Here you go. <laughs> I guess it leveled it up another point though. Too. I didn't pay attention to what it was before. Yeah, probably one because the fee is still really low compared to other stuff. Come again, laddie! Okay, that was a thing. That we did. That didn't amount to much. I keep forgetting which button is it. Anyway, we do have a run, but... <laughs>
for when we're out in walkabout. I've forgotten which one it is. That's that's everywhere except down here to Force of Spirit, so let's go there. No, um, I hear that Cupido is presently staying in Shieldia. Oh, how I'd love to go and see him. But the others would get mad at me again if they were to hear me say that. Okay. We elves may lack the strength of other races, but in turn we make up for it in terms of intellect and nimbleness. Here, you are an older guy. Yeah. The war is ended, but at such a cost. Oh. Is the war at a close? Can we live in peace once more? Uh, maybe? Let's go in that shop and see what it is. Get an item shop. Oh, it's an appraiser's, okay. Well, yellow. Yeah, while we're here, since we ain't getting anything else done, we might as well get that thing appraised. Greetings, hero. Okay, yeah. Let's appraise it. Ooh, six, seven, eight. Ice X Dragon Ham. We won't keep that in case we get Lazarus back. We've got another one somewhere. Do we have anything? Okay, yeah, we didn't have anything in armor, so we don't need to waste any more time here. Y'all come back now. So, that means we've went everywhere, and wherever there is an elder or something, we've talked to them. I think. Let's see, there's the Birdman Village. Is there a dwarf? Oh, I think there is a dwarf leader. Did we talk to him? I don't think we did. But, yeah. Let's go back to the hero's heart and talk to at least Volgan Pios again, see if that does anything. I guess we could talk to everybody. See if everybody else has something to say. It may be one of the others that initiates the next thing. We might have another like little interlude like we did with Mal. Well, if, it ain't, if it's one of the others besides these. The other letters are... Okay, yeah, he's still saying the same thing. Oh, okay, here we go. Witnesses claim that yesterday they spotted a pack of fiends in the Regulus Hills. I just came from there. That's where Monster Honey is, I think. Fiends? But now that Visage is dead, shouldn't they have disappeared? Maybe it was just a pack of wild animals? Remember that dark forces might still remain abroad. This is worth checking out to make sure. Sean, Elwin, Connor, come with me. Well, I hope I didn't just initiate the next battle. I was hoping to just find out what it was. Yeah, this is the monster hunt area. Connor, don't you need to return to Runeville? The army's withdrawal can be left to Karen. As long as Ira says that she's staying here, I cannot leave her behind. And he said that? Yes, it seems like she's got reasons for not wanting to return home. She doesn't want to go back? Well, I don't see anything wrong with staying here in Shieldia either. And by the way, Sean, you'd better not make my sister cry. Well, uh, what's that supposed to mean? 
All right, you guys, we're here. This is supposedly where the fiends were spotted. There they are. They don't even put up a fight. Is this all then? Looks like there was no cause for alarm. <laughs> Famous last word. Big trouble, guys. Fiends have begun to attack Shieldia. What? So this was... Uh, excuse me. So was this all just a diversion? I don't know, but we need to hurry back. Yeah, it usually doesn't just throw us right into battles. We have to actually go down to the uh, staging area from the hero's heart. Why are you so upset, Neige? Cupido, I implore you. Please, will you not fight with us? You are the finest archer in the world. You are called the legendary Holy Bow. You should be able to handle this on your own, Princess Ira. And besides, I haven't got a bow. You've thrown away your bow? I can draw a bow no longer. My story ended 17 years ago. Kivito, when you gave me my bow, you never said... Even with a bow, even with power, there are things that one cannot save. One cannot go against fate. I learned that in my fight, 17 years ago. I have never taken up arms since. I have grown tired of trying to go against what destiny has in store. Now I am but a mere minstrel who sings of the past. When you rescued me, you told me, hold to your will and don't give in to fate. And because of those words, I'm here fighting to stand against unjust fate. That may be so, but... Your story is not finished, Cupido. Askly. Elwyn, whom you entrusted with your bow, Sean and all the others are struggling to build their future. If these are the people who will inherit our memory, then it is your duty and mine to watch over them. It's not like you to give in to fate. That's right, I forged my own destiny. I seem to recall another idiot who said the same thing 17 years ago. <laughs> Hey, look at that! It's Galahad. Connor, my brother, it's been, it has been a while. Not long enough. <laughs> and Visage, too. He's still alive? So, you are Visage then. You know, it's rather rude to use someone's name without per without permission. Well, well, if it isn't the real Askly, I never expected that you'd be here in Shieldia of all places. And yet, you used up all your mystical strength 17 years ago. Can you really hope to defeat my magics? You certainly seem to know quite a lot about me. This body remembers. I see, and that body is that of our former comrade, the great sorceress Zenovia, yes? No wonder Cupido was so concerned about you. Fair, and what will you do? Zenovia, you're alive. Damn you! How are you bastards still alive? Lazarus gave his life to stop you. 
I swear I will make you pay. <laughs> Indeed, if the Dragon Knight's attack had succeeded, then even I would have been destroyed. At the last possible moment, I simply teleported away. I too owe my life to such magic. And so we let you assume that we were dead, and because of that you went soft and lax, allowing a crucial hole in your defenses. You bastards! Galahad, you're being deceived by visage. Stop this nonsense. Nonsense? Whatever do you mean? I want Shieldia's vessel of the Beast God. That, that is why I've gone to war. I don't consider that nonsense at all. Galahad. Now the time for talk has passed. Yes. If you'll excuse us, we need to put the finishing touches on our plan to bring about the doom of the world. Yes, stop blabbing and go do that so we can end the episode. <laughs> Zenobia, stop. Visage, release Zenobia's body at once. Oh please, do you really think that I'd just give up such a wonderful body like this? Then I will kill you myself. Hehehe, <laughs> something tells me you will stop short of harming the body of your good old friend. But have it your way, when next we meet, I look forward to seeing your skill. See you, big bro. Galahad, wait! Damn. Let's get back to the hero's hearth and regroup ourselves. And end the episode. And save the game. If they start talking again as soon as we get there, we'll end it anyway and pick up there next time. Okay, no, they're actually giving me control. <laughs> so... Yeah, next time we'll run. We'll start by running around and talking to everybody again. So, thanks for watching, and y'all come back.